Today's episode brought to you by Mazo Media. What if there was a device that allowed you to wirelessly print, play your music wirelessly, and be a router? Well, there is such a thing. We're going to talk about it today on Future Camera Guy. Hello and welcome to another episode of Future Camera Guy, where I bring together cameras, camcorders, technology, and sharing our memories. I'm your host, Matthias Clement. So what is this mysterious device that I talk about? I talk about the Airport Express, a little device by Apple. The one I have here in my hands is actually the previous generation to the one that's out in the market right now. And uh, I preferred this model for a couple of reasons. The main one being, and this may sound silly, is the fact that there was a plug built right into the airport. And so what you would do is plug it into the wall. Now, before I go too much further, I want to explain the primary function of the Airport Express is to be a wireless router, is what it's supposed to be. That's what the function of this Ethernet port in the bottom is, is to plug into your modem so that you can broadcast wireless internet. But at the same time, Apple thought of some pretty nice goodies to pack in for the low price point of $99.99. Let's say that $100. So for $100, you get a router and uh, it's got a pretty good broadcast range. I'd say it's pretty good for a single floor dwelling. Uh, roughly about a thousand square feet would give you a lot of coverage with this. But at the same time, what they did was they packed in a USB port and a audio port. The USB port allows you to have wireless printing. A lot of people were hoping that it would allow you to have wireless storage, but alas, it is only for wireless printing. And I'll talk about later about how to set that up. And then the other port, which is really interesting, is an audio jack. Now the audio jack takes two kinds of formats. It takes what most would call a headphone jack, a 3.5 millimeter jack, but it is also an optical out. And for you audiophiles out there, you'll know that optical audio is actually the bee's knees, giving you the best audio quality possible. So if you have that high-end receiver that has audio in, you're able to get really high quality audio. Now, we're going to get into a little more about how to get your wireless audio working, but the setup of these Airport Expresses are really simple. First, you plug them into the wall, and then you wait for the flashing light on the back to continue flashing yellow, and then you'll use Apple's Airport Utility. Now, you can do this either through the iPhone app, or you can also do it through the Mac or PC app application, which you can download off Apple's website. And then it'll ask you some basic questions such as what do you want to name your router and your network, as well as what password security you want to have. At that point, you're pretty much good to go. Now when it comes to your wireless printer, a little more work to be done. You'll take any printer you have, as long as that is a USB connection, you're going to plug that in, and then you're going to want to download from Apple's website the Bonjour printer service, and you're going to want the most recent up-to-date version. Download and install that. Uh, I believe on Apple it comes default as part of Mac OS X, and uh, download that, install it, and start it up, and it will actually auto-magically detect your printer. Now, it doesn't always choose the correct printer. There might be a bit of troubleshooting you have to do, but about 95% of the time, it will choose the right printer and you say, you're good to go. And when you go to print a Word document, you'll find that the wireless printer shows up. We're gonna take a short break from our, for our sponsors, and then we will get back to you on how to get your audio working on the Airport Express. Mazo Media is your solution to video marketing. We produce videos for small businesses, organizations, and not-for-profits. If you've ever thought about making videos for your business to have on YouTube or other social media, or even to the big screen, call Mazo Media for your video solutions today. Now back for our last little piece about the audio. 
Like I said earlier, you can either use a headphone jack on this end, and that headphone jack can either go to an RCA or a, another headphone jack into another device, or you can use an optical audio cable. Small note on the audio optical cable, it's a pretty specialized piece because it's not square on each end. This end looks a lot like a headphone jack, and usually you can order them online is usually the best place to find them. Once you have that hooked up to your receiver or your speakers, computer speakers, whatever it might be, what you'll want to do is you're going to want to go into your Apple device and you're going to wind up playing your music and you're going to find a very unique symbol down in the bottom corner. It kind of looks like a square with a triangle inside of it. And that is your airplay function. You'll notice when you go to click that button that you're going to be given options. You're going to be given just your headphone options or the name of your router option. And if you choose the name of your router option, you'll wirelessly play your music. The nice thing is you can also control the level of the audio levels through your phone. So you can wirelessly stream from your phone, your tablet, or even from your iTunes account. And don't worry, Android users, there are apps out there. I've heard of one called Air Audio that works really well with not only the AirPlay function of the Express, but also the Apple TV. So Android users, you are also able to stream your music wirelessly through the Airport Express. That's all for our episode today, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to see more videos, and just a friendly reminder that I work on commission, and when you go into the store, if you can mention that you were helped by Matt, uh, that would be a big help, because that gives me a little bit of commission money to continue making these videos and making a living. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask below, or email me at futurecameraguy at gmail.com. Hope to see you soon and keep on clicking. Today's episode brought to you by Mazo Media. 